So hey everyone, welcome back to Rebecca's Coloring Arts and Crafts. So I just thought I would do a bit of a haul of some of the stuff that I got for Christmas here. Um, I know technically the puzzles are things that I bought for myself and there's one thing that I'm missing here which is a set of Derwent Lightfast pencils which I bought for myself for Christmas as well in the 100 wood box set but I'm going to do a separate unboxing of that or haul, um, separate video on that so that I can go through them and explain and show things because I can't do a huge heap with this currently so yeah um I just thought I'd show you this um yeah my stomach's not necessarily the happiest with me because a couple of things I've eaten today that are on my allergy list like oranges and stuff like that so yeah I'm gonna have to wait and see how that goes kind of thing with as to if it's going to play up with me or not but I just thought I would show you a bit of a haul of the puzzles I got for myself as well as the couple of items that I got for Christmas so first thing that I've actually got here is and these seem to work with my diet thing um the organic berry jellies and they're vegan friendly gluten-free made with real fruit juice and they're organic um so yeah I had never heard of these before but I'm definitely interested to try them. This is something my mum got me. Um, and yeah, so definitely cool to have. I also got, because of my diet too, um, my mum tried to get some things that were well, items that were things that I could have. So I got this lemon, ginger, and manuka honey organic tea. Um, so tea sachets. So very excited for those. It smells very interesting. I'm not normally keen on licorice, but it's actually got licorice root in it, but it smells really nice. And I like my herbal teas, so I'm definitely going to be getting back into those, into having my teas and stuff like that again. But yeah, um, yeah, I think my stomach's going to be a little upset for a couple of days because, yeah, I got crook from having something wrong few days ago and yeah my stomach's just not feeling happy right now so yeah but it is what it is I guess it was Christmas I splurged a bit but yeah um the next thing that I got here is this kaleidoscope etch art creations world landmarks so this includes 16 etch art pen panels 16 page books three stencils and an etching stylus um I'm not sure exactly what this bit's from but it's come out when I've pulled something out I'm guessing it's from their stencil patterns but um this is basically just like a sketching project or design and comes with ones that you can sketch your own things on as well and tells you how to make them so you can do more which is cool so that may be some art projects that I can add to the channel eventually you'll notice here I've started trying to do one with the stylus a bit um i haven't done very well i've still got looks like i've still got some white pieces on there do i yeah kind of looks like i've still got a bit of white pieces on there yeah i do i think that i started trying to do one like that but um yeah can only do the best we can but this is just like with the etching stylus. So it's just about working on it gradually. It's kind of awkward with the bung hand and wrist, but it's something I've been told that I'm allowed to do because it causes me minimal pain to do the sketching stuff. So it's kind of perfect and gives me an art project to work on. But yeah, so very awesome to have that and be able to do that. I'm just using the bit of sticky tape there to stick it back down again. But yeah, it's um, very fun to have and it's obviously different world landmarks, so and different colours, but I'm not going to pull it out too much because it's kind of awkward for me to get it back in with my hand and wrist and that but yeah um 
very excited to have that and it's like oh cool that's actually something that I can do so it was very exciting it's like something crafty that else that I can do so it's so excited to have that and the next thing that I got here before the final things is a calendar of famous landmarks for 2021 so if we look on the back and I do not know where that uh, it's material I thought it was a bug <laughs> if we look on the back we can see what our landmarks are so January January we've got the Colosseum of Rome February is the Sphinx and Pyramids of Egypt March is the London Bridge April is the Eiffel Tower, Paris, France. May is Rottenberg of the Tabor, Germany, I think it is. June is the Taj Mahal, Agra, India. July is Acropolis, Athens, Greece. August is the Great Wall of China. September is Moscow, Russia. That one's kind of cool. October is Mount Fuji and Lake Shoji, Japan. November is Mount Rushmore, South Dakota, USA. And December is Cologne Cathedral and Hollinsen Bridge, Germany, which that one's really cool too. So yeah, I have very lucky to have those. And it's also this calendar is that was gifted to me is actually supporting camp quality and sick children. So what I found was really nice in here was that it actually comes, the kid has written their name in there and who they're supporting and um, what they have. So this kid has Burkitt lymphoma and is 11 years old and it's supporting Ethan B. And so I thought that was really, really nice touch to have in the gift and it's like that is so nice that it's supporting a sick kid so yeah and um knowing from my health stuff it's nice to know that those kids do get that support and so the next things that I got here are a few puzzles so these are all from the brand hey I think it is and they're all 1000 pieces so the first one that I've actually got here is a vertical one from the Enigma Trees range. And this is by Andy Thomas. And this is so cool. Um, I just really, really loved this image and the colours and that in it. So this is called the Phosphorus Tree. Yeah, I loved it. And if you look on the back here, you'll see... There are other ones in this tree range, and I really like them, but they're currently out of stock as well. But we've got the magnesium tree, and the tropical tree, and you'll see this one in a bit, the strontonium tree, I think it is. But yeah, very, very cool and awesome, and I'm very happy to have those. And I just love, like, look at the details on this. It's gorgeous. <laughs> And then the next one that I got here is this one called from the Magic Forest range. And these have grown since this one. I think this one's one that's no longer in print. And this is called Glade. But I really love the greens and the sun areas. And I think it's definitely going to be a challenging one. Don't get me wrong. But I thought it would be very, it was, I just loved the image. Pretty much. And so yeah, it's called Glade. And I don't think this one's in print anymore because you'll notice the logo is different. So I think it's an older print version. And then the second last one I've got here is also from the Magic Forest um, one. And this is this beautiful sort of rainforest, mossy looking one, which I also think will be a challenge because a lot of greens. And this one is called Spirit Garden. And to me, it's definitely very gorgeous, like with the light and the greens. And yeah, I definitely think it's going to be a challenge, but fun challenge at that. 
And if you look on the back too, um, I don't think these are quite all of them. I think there are others in the set, but I'm not totally sure. But I think there are others just because of the fact that um, when I Google it online, it does show that there are others that aren't on the back of this image. But I have got this one on back order, the 2000 piece rhododendron. Um, you saw Glade. And I've got Spirit Garden. I don't have any of the others. But, yeah, I'm very, very happy to have these. And they're made in Germany. And then the final one that I've got here is my second one from Enigma Trees by Andy Thomas. And this is the Strontonium tree. And, yeah, I love this one too. Um, really love the details. And it's a bit different to um, our other one with the fact that you're seeing more of the landscape as well. The other one sort of focused more on the tree details. But I still love this one. And if you look at the tree details, it's like very, very unique and interesting and like, wow. Same with the water and the sky. And yeah, I just love them. But yeah, anyway... This is basically um, my Christmas haul. These puzzles were things that I sort of got for myself for Christmas. And then um, not quite all of the puzzles have arrived that I got for myself for Christmas. But um, these were the ones that have arrived. And yeah, there's obviously my etch art image and teas and the calendar and... Yeah, it's very, very awesome. And, yeah, um, if you've enjoyed this, please leave a like, subscribe, comment. I always love hearing from you. I hope you've enjoyed this bit of a Christmas haul. Um, I just wanted to share with you. I'm not bragging by any means or any way um, possible. I just really wanted to share this with you because I was so happy with what I got for Christmas and the few things that I got for myself and I'm definitely going to be showing those light fast pencils in a separate video haul just because then I can show you the testers that I've done because I'm not allowed to actually color yet because of this I'm only allowed to do sketching but yeah um so happy with this I'm still waiting on my Disney Raven's Verger Raven's Verger Disney Moments 40,320 piece puzzle to come um, and there's at least another one as well to come, a 3,000 piece Raven's Verger puzzle, plus I did get some other, um, Hey Hey ones, Hey Yay ones, but they are all on pre-order, as I said, one of the Magic Forest ones, that's a 2,000 piece, that's one of the ones that's on the back order that I'm waiting for it to come, but that was part of my Christmas presents to myself, um, but yeah, just because typically in our family we just do little bits of presents and then we might get something for ourselves kind of thing or ourselves um, as well for Christmas. So, yeah, that's just how we do it here. But, oh, oh excuse me. If you've enjoyed this, please leave a like, subscribe, comment. I always love hearing from you. This is in no way bragging. I was just excited and wanted to share what I'd gotten myself for Christmas. And, yeah, if you've enjoyed this, um, yeah, I'll definitely respond as soon as possible if you leave a comment, and I will see you later.